very beautiful morning. You are on to Thursday's edition of TMI. And um, we can't do without discussing the International Women's Day. I have with me a guest here. Her name is Doris away from. Thank you. You're so welcome much. to the show. Thank you so much. We're going to be talking about the International Women's Day. It will interest you to know that the first national celebration was on the 28th of February, 1909, and it was officially recognized by the UN in 1975. So this celebration has been coming a long way. How do you think, how far have we come with it? In Africa, in Nigeria? It's cool, but in Nigeria, um, we're not really doing up to Okay, excitation. so it's not recognized here. It's recognized, but what I mean is that in practice, okay. yes, we recognize it, we celebrate it, but in practice, we've not really done well okay. in the society, in okay. recognizing women, as in, trying to um, recognize women in what they do and celebrate them for what they do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking about um, this celebration. It's to create awareness as it touches gender issues. And um, if you're talking about gender issues, if there's any part of the world that has gender issues, it is Africa. It is Nigeria. Because there's, it, this year's thing was very interesting. It says, break the bias. Um, it, the theme says, gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. And the hashtag on social media was break the bias. Yes. Is it possible to break the bias in Africa? It's very possible. Like, as I said before, we really have to begin to recognize women in what they do and what they stand for. Okay. And breaking this bias is a collective responsibility. Okay. It does not really lie for the men to recognize women. Because we women too have to recognize ourselves, have to start celebrating ourselves. Okay. We have to start believing in ourselves. Because self-love is the very first thing. You have to love yourself, project yourself, like what you do. Okay. Then that is when you convince the opposite sex to also believe in you okay. and also um, recognize what you do too. Okay. So why is um, gender inequality important to you women? Okay, um, gender inequality is very important because um, we need to begin to erase this ego of we are on top. Okay. I mean the men. Talking about the men now. Yes, we are all human, created by God. Mm -hmm. I am a Christian and I'm speaking from that background. Okay. We are all human, we are created by God. And seeing, breaking this bias will give us the enablement to air our views to contribute our quota, and which is very significant in national so, development. So, so how do we now strike a balance in the home front? You know, since you people are agitating for gender equality in the society, so how do we now strike a balance in the home front? Okay, striking the balance, it depends on your understanding, okay. the type of balance you are talking about. We are human. Your wife, your sister, you should recognize her as human. Too. Respect to. Okay. Yes, we all have responsibility to do. Yeah. Home front does not really lie on the woman to carry. We all have to be responsible and we have to accept whatever consequences that comes out of that responsibility. Okay. Like in the home front, people say, oh, the woman belongs to the other room or the inner room. <laughs> Honestly, it's a trash. Do okay. you get me? Mm. It's a trash. If you recognize the fact that your wife, your sister, is human just like you, we breed and we have the same blood, we have the same fluid flowing in us, you should be able to recognize mm. that you have, don't have to leave every responsibility that, that has to do with home for her. Okay. You too, as you breed and you eat, you bait as human, you should also be yeah, able to pick up, exactly pick up the experts you know you can contribute in the home front. It does not really matter that you are a woman and you're supposed to stay behind. No. And this gender, removing this gender inequality in the system does not really mean that we are measuring to be equal okay. with men. Okay. That, that, this is the balance I'm That's actually looking at. Yes, we are not really fighting to be equal with men. I am a Christian. I said this before. Like in the book of Genesis, God said, let us create man in our own image. And Adam was made yes. from the rib of Adam. Eve was so, equally made. So there was made. no statement that said, let's create women. women no, if you see, he said, let <laughs> us create man. Okay. <laughs> Are you getting me? You. Man here represents human. Okay. You okay. get it. Okay. So, from the ribs of Adam, Eve was made. Okay. So we're not striking to be equal with you. 
We all know in the real let me, sense. Let me raise my shoulder right now. Exactly. We all they are, I have to praise you. We all know in the okay, real okay. sense that yes, <laughs> men are on top. Okay. But we are mm. fighting for us to have, have a voice, a voice yes. to be represented. Mm. We are not supposed to belong in the honor room or the other room. You get it. The other room. We all have what we need to contribute. We yeah. all have responsibilities to bring to the table. To bring to the table. Are you okay. getting me? Yeah. And if a woman can be able to champion the home front, all right. Then this is, getting, this is getting very interesting. Please, let's okay. take a break shortly and we'll be back with this hot topic, talking about the International Women's Day. Please stay tuned. Still on to TMI, the Enthusiast Edition, and we're here with Deb Doris away from the Executive Director of Society for Empowered Youth Development. And we're discussing something very topical, talking about women's rights and how far it has been um, affected. You know, recently we had um, this um, National Assembly now. They rejected every bill that concerned the female gender. And then um, there were some protests done by women, particularly on this International Women's Day, to say why was nothing considered concerning the women. And there were some grievances somewhere. I got wind of that. that the women at the top are not helping us. When you talk about the women in the office of the first lady, the second lady, they're not doing enough to help women in this cause. What do you have to say about that? Honestly, I agree with you, sister, because I see um, women who are opportune to be at the corridor of power that, I don't know whether it's power instigation, by the time they get in, they shut the door. Okay. The power beclouds their reasoning. Look, this, gender bill, when I looked at the content of what we are fighting for, I believe strongly that it's not enough. Really? Yes. Okay. It's not even enough. It's not enough to be what we should be fighting for, you know? And the game is that you agree with me that sensitization and advocacy done before now is not enough, too. Yeah, yeah. Most of us woke up in the morning and we saw gender bill being pushed. Mm. And we did not even contribute our quota towards that. Okay. What are we talking about? What are we even fighting for? Okay. Ordinary 35% mm. inclusion in the political seats. Okay. Indigenship. Ordinary indigenship is what we are fighting for. Are you getting me? Yeah. And if you talk about citizenship, it's still what we are fighting for. Mm. But you will agree with me that women across this nation suffers a lot. Okay. Go to villages, you will attest to what I'm talking about. Okay. You want to tell me that during burial, you contribute as a woman to bury your father, to bury your mother, but during sharing of inheritance, you are not there. Your voice will not be heard. You won't even know how the sharing, how they did it. Yeah. Tell me, who is cheating who? Where are they pushing us to? Okay, this same woman does not have a voice when decision will be made. Mm. During family meeting, during village meeting, you don't have a voice. You don't have to talk. You don't even have to go closer because you are a woman. So what are we saying? How do you think that this bill is enough for us okay. to be fighting for? for are you getting me? Yes. So, okay. Um, okay. Uh, don't you think the reason why um, you are not getting this fairness, you are not getting this equity you're clamoring for, uh, in this part of the world, it's like they don't take you serious. You finish from the National Assembly and all of a sudden, some people carried big cake and went somewhere and started shouting happy birthday somewhere. I will arrive there. Okay. You know I told you what we are fighting for to me is not heavy enough. Okay. It's not even enough. And this fighting we are talking about is concerning the 1999 Constitutional Amendment yes. that we are talking about. Yes. Okay, now if we include that 35%, when are we going to come back again to fight for 50% okay. in one? Are you okay. getting me? That's okay. why I'm talking about that. That of the aspect of indigenous is necessary, you know, because you need to understand that you as a woman, your state of origin, you are not wanted because you are married. Yeah. Where you are married to, you are not I'm wanted because well. you are not an indigenous. What are we, why are they pushing us to? Are okay. you getting me? Okay. What do they want us to do? Okay. Why I mention this, that the ones in power, they are not doing enough, is because that imagine, imagine that the first lady, the second first lady we have, or we call it second lady, in this nation, we are all present, including these uh, ministers that are women. We are all present in the National yeah, Assembly. And this bill was trashed before them. Yeah. Do you know, after trashing this gender bill, they have the guts to go to Dubai to go and celebrate ordinary birthday. Okay, you understand that. Don't 
believe me, the cake they were they carried yeah. must have been made in Dubai. Of course. These women, who are they cheating? Okay. Are they fighting for us, or they, okay. they, are, they are fighting for their just cause? Okay. You travel to Dubai, you are contributing to the development of Dubai. Mm. You are neglecting what you have at home. When your bill was trashed, when your gender bill was trashed, and if you were patriotic enough, yes. you should be mourning, you should be crying. I will not so rally. I want you. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. We sacrifice that your birthday celebration. Birthday comes every year. You know, as long as we have life, we have every opportunity, we have every chance exactly. to celebrate as more birthdays okay. as possible. Okay. Why not sacrifice that? Okay. Go to Duara, so we all mobilize yes. to stand behind you mm -hmm. and say, why did you trash our gender bill? Okay. You, you, you was trashed at the National Assembly. Yes. It did not budge you okay. at all. You mobilized other women, mm -hmm. other go and governor's and wives. So what you are saying in essence is that there is not enough concern by the uh, women that are in government. Wow, there is not enough concern. I think there is hypocrisy here. Okay. I sensed the hypocrisy. You said you are fighting for gender, right? Because you are a woman. Your being was trashed. I don't know where you got the energy. I don't know where the enablement came from. I don't know where you got the morale okay. to leave this okay. same nation okay. with this burning national yeah. issue. Look, agree it or you leave it. If we continue like this, we are not helping this nation. Okay. Women, we are the strong pillars. They said we, we are the neck. When you remove the neck, the head yeah, cannot stand. That's true. Yes. Yeah. When we talk about national development in this nation and we neglect women, we are going nowhere. And what I want to tell you is that as long as you are a woman, self-love should be forced. You must believe in yourself okay. and in what you do okay. before any other gender can believe in you. Okay. And you must begin to learn how to appreciate others, okay. so your fellow gender. Before you, before you run over this area, can we talk about um, other areas that need attention as it touches the way female gender? Whew. A lot of laws. We have the VAP law. We have other conventions that stood to protect the life or the, 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 yes, lives of women mm -hmm. and their rights, are we putting them in practice? How many states okay. have been able to adopt these okay. laws? How many states have been able to domicilize these laws to put it in practice? You will begin to see that we are still lagging behind. We said we practice to federalism That's in true. Nigeria, That's Federal true. Republic of Nigeria. Yeah. Are we really doing what is supposed to be? Okay. Some states, yes, have signed VAP law into law. A those state is one of them. Can you, say, Bob, can you elaborate for our audiences? Violence against persons prohibition okay. and at law, yes. Okay. See, we have signed it into law in the state and it's being implemented. What about other sister states? Okay. Are they doing the same? Okay. You know, by the time we begin, to embrace and put all these things in practice, you begin to see, yes, we are making a headway into what we are talking about. Uh, all right, on a yeah. quick one. So how do you plan to carry women with disabilities and the vulnerable ones along? Okay, the, we, are talking, we talk about inclusiveness yes. in this um, fight. Mm. They are not left behind. Okay. They also, they probably have a voice. They equally have unique contribution to make in this fight, despite in this society, okay. yes, despite their pain. I recognize them a lot in the sense that they are human. Okay. Being disabled does not mean that they are not able. Okay. Are you getting me? A lot of them have contributed a whole lot hmm. in this national development and in this same fight against um, gender inequality. Mm. And by the time we begin to, there are other laws too, the, gen, uh, the disability laws too, that we also have to fight that other states too okay. should imbibe and sign them into law and recognize their rights too as human. You know, by the time we begin to recognize them too, you begin to see that the ability in them will surface. And we make All right, okay, before, before, before we let progress. you go, let's quickly go to your team for this year. You said break the bias. So what modalities are you people putting in place to really strike a balance? Honestly, some of us are not empowered 
okay. to do what we're supposed to do. Okay. That was why I said those in power are not doing enough. They're even supporting the men to push policies that is too harsh to suppress other women from rising. I mean it. I really, really mean it. Okay. Look, if you are a woman and you fight for the cause of other women, you should be able to be closer to your constituency. Mm. You should be able to be closer to your village. I am not talking about GRA. I am not talking about township. Are you getting me? Satellite town. Yeah, but unfortunately, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a woman now. Okay, sister. <laughs> yeah, let me come to you. If you say you are in power and you are a woman, you should be able to find your roots, yes. your village, your constituents, yes. your friends. Look, being in power does not really matter that you only recognize your acquaintances, yes. those that show the same as she be with you. Mm. No, it is not that. Charity begins at yeah, home. That's true. Let that's what true. you do reflect to the lives of the woman in the village, okay. the life of that woman who is selling crayfish in the market. So apparently, you're talking about grassroots. Grassroots. Yes. Let your politicking start from the grassroots. Okay. Demonstrate your strength okay. in your constituency, not coming to Juarui, not coming to the town okay. to showcase yourself. Think, I think that's a very strong message, and it's a very crossing your hands this way mm. to snap pictures, to put yeah, on social it. media, to celebrate. International Women's Day no, is not enough. Yes. That is hypocrisy. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. You should put it in practice. All right. Having women rally around you, allowing that dirty village woman to mm. hug you mm. when you come back home yes. matters a lot. I think we, we are running out of time now. Yes. Yes. So to discuss on this subject. I wish we had more time, mm. but we'll call it a day for here for, for, for now. And then um, I hope that we can discuss more on women's rights and as it touches International Women's Day and maybe some other time in the year as well. It has been a very beautiful time with you. Thank you very much for your contribution. I really enjoyed it. Nice having you. Yes. And that will be all we can take for today's edition of TMI. It has been very eventful. I hope to see you again tomorrow. We have in Friday's edition of TMI. I'm Jennifer White and... Um, Do you have a beautiful, beautiful day ahead. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Bye for now. having me.